supply chain profitability. What are the sources of revenue and cost in supply chains? If you consider one stage in the supply chain, for example, a manufacturer, then uh, this uh, manufacturer will have certain costs, internal costs. Maybe they will purchase something from suppliers, which will also be part of their cost. And their revenue will be what maybe the distributors pay for the products that the manufacturer delivers to them. However, this revenue of the manufacturer is not really a revenue of supply chain. The only source of revenue for the supply chain are the customers, the customers who buy the product. They are the only ones that pay uh, the supply chain, right? They pay to the retailer, but then part of that, the retailer will pay to the distributor, then distributor to manufacturer, and then manufacturer to supplier. So this revenue from customers will be somehow redistributed over all uh, companies involved in the supply chain. So there is only one source of revenue, but there are many sources of uh, cost. All stages in the supply chain will have their own costs. So similarly that we define for a single company profit as the difference between its revenues and its costs, uh, supply chain profit can be defined as supply chain revenue minus supply chain costs. And this profit, right, is the profit for all the companies involved in supply chain. And it uh, has to somehow be shared across all stages of the supply chain. So we are going to say that the success of uh, a, um, supply chain will be defined or measured by total supply chain profitability, not profit at one stage only. And we have to recognize that if you have some inefficiencies at just one stage of, uh, right, whether it's supplier, manufacturer, distributor, retailer, or transportation, any inefficiency in supply chain that will increase costs may indirectly decrease supply chain profitability. Why is it, right? Because, for example, you might have some increase in the cost of manufacturing, and then the product becomes more expensive. So the distributor has to pay more and the retailer has to pay more and the customer may, may have to pay more. Well, if the product is more expensive, the customer who's maybe cost sensitive, price sensitive, might choose another product. And then despite higher price, the, the revenue might drop significantly if customers shift to a cheaper product. So any inefficiency that we have in the supply chain risks supply chain profitability. And so we want to somehow manage the supply chain in an integrative manner in order to avoid those inefficiencies.